Welcome to this video tutorial on the Remedy 4 self-upgrade process. I'm going to walk you through how to self-upgrade your sandbox or production environment. You can self-upgrade to the latest release of BMC Remedy Force by manually installing the managed package that's available on the Salesforce App Exchange. Based on your organization's needs and internal change control processes, you can perform a self-upgrade at any time or day before the scheduled automatic upgrade by BMC. this we're going to navigate to setup and then we're going to go down to the app exchange marketplace in the search bar we're going to key in remedy force and search I'm going to select remedy force and then get it now. We're going to log into the App Exchange with administrator credentials. I'm then going to select that I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and install from provider's website. And then I'm a Remedy Force customer and I want to install the latest version. I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to install in the sandbox today, but you can, you can choose to do so in your sandbox or your production environment. And again, we're going to log in. In the Install BMC Remedy Force IT Help Desk section, we're going to select Install for Specific Profiles. This option enables you to configure the access level for custom profiles in your Salesforce organization based on the out-of-the-box access levels provided by BMC Remedy Force. If you've assigned or plan to assign out-of-the-box BMC permission sets, you can skip this step. BMC recommends that customers move to out-of-the-box permission sets as these are automatically upgraded without further post-upgrade activity. BMC further recommends that you do not select the other two options. If you select Install for Admins Only, predefined access levels are automatically configured for installing administrator's profile in any profile with the customized application permission. In this case, you will have to manually configure access levels for custom profiles in your organization. Further, if you select Install for All Users, predefined access levels are automatically configured for all your custom profiles. All users who are assigned custom profiles get the same level of predefined access. So just something to consider when making a, a selection here. Again, as I mentioned, we're going to install for specific profiles. So we're going to go ahead and select um, in this section the profiles and the access uh, that we want to grant. So I'm going to look at the custom profiles in my org. I'm going to assign the Service Desk Staff permission set to Service Desk Staff. Um, same concept for Client. I'm going to install, um, rather assign Change Manager permissions to the Change Manager. Uh, release Management Staff, that's also a custom um, profile I have, I'm going to assign that service desk staff, and then my HR services staff is another custom profile that I happen to have in my org. But um, any of those custom profiles in your org, please go ahead and assign the appropriate level of, of access here. And then once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and click Upgrade. When the upgrade is complete, you'll receive a couple of email messages, one from Salesforce, the other from BMC Remedy Force. This may take some time. Uh, if the upgrade is successful, you can begin using the application. If you receive a failure notification, contact BMC support for next steps. In the event of a failure, the Salesforce.com organization is rolled back to the previous state. You can reinstall the managed package from the Salesforce App Exchange. We're going to select Done here. After you've self-upgraded or BMC has automatically upgraded your organization, an entry is automatically added in the Installed Packages table. 
it takes you here directly, but you can also navigate to setup and through setup um, and then install packages. As you can see here in the install packages table, the version number column, check the version number here of your BNC Remedy Force. You can see here that the version of the latest release is, is now available and has been successfully uh, installed in, in my org. After you've self-upgraded or BMC has automatically upgraded your organization, you will need to perform manual post-upgrade configurations that are if you are not using the out-of-the-box permission sets. See part two of this video that covers the post-upgrade steps. For more information on the upgrade process, see the Remedy Force Wiki at http wiki.remedyforce.com. This concludes our video tutorial on the Remedy Force self-upgrade. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact your customer success manager or email remedyforcesuccess at bmc.com.